Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today, and I know I made more than a couple of videos on the tragedy that happened here, but, well, it's been on my mind. I was there that day, and some things are still, still haunting me, but I am, you know, I, I know I sounded, uh, not well yesterday, and that is exactly how I felt, but I am just going to talk a little bit today about my city of Las Vegas, Nevada. And I spent a little bit of time down on the Strip yesterday evening talking to workers that I know, talking to members of the Metro Police Force, talking to security people of the nearby Mandalay Bay and Luxor, and people I know in those facilities in the Tropicana. And uh, some things were becoming very clear to me. Now, I made a video about an hour after the incident happened, and I was up at Harris, and there was just a whole wild scene there. And I'm beginning to understand what happened. The people exited the concert, and there was just groups of people fleeing, obviously in a wild panic. And as they made their way north up the strip, people were bloody and running still, you know, a quarter mile, half mile up the strip just fleeing and getting as far away as possible from the scene. And I guess the panic just swept northwards. And when this group of people got up to the link, the promenade, the Flamingo and Harris, people in those casinos thought that something was happening right outside of there. And that's why that wild scene took place at Harris. And that's why I had to hide under the table for a few minutes. And the Flamingo was cleared. And I know at the Tropicana, I talked to a few people there. Everybody was taken down to the basement, and armed guards were put at the front of the Flamingo. And, really, I know that Metro does a wonderful job out here. They let people do whatever they want and have as much fun as they want, just as long as they're not getting in the way of somebody else's fun and causing a problem or whatever for some other guests. But you can do whatever you want in Vegas, and that's what makes Vegas so great. People love Vegas. People need Vegas. Millions of people come here every year and absolutely love it. And I know it's not for some people, and that's understandable. But there are some misconceptions about Las Vegas. But any kind of fun you want out here, if you love the arts, if you like to gamble, obviously, if you like sporting events, there is just something for everybody out here, the greatest people watching in the world. And the reason why I love living in Las Vegas is because there is people from all over the world that live here and love hosting people from all over the world and making sure they have a great time when they come here. And that's why the events of Sunday night are such a tragedy for the people who work here. They are brokenhearted because they want to make Las Vegas the funnest destination for people and groups of people and convention events. And they go out of their way so people here have a great time and feel safe and comfortable. And that is the way it usually is out on the Strip. People feel very safe. And people say, how can you hang out, you know, down on the Strip and party all the time? And, well, I don't party all the time. I did about 12, 13 years ago. I was a total idiot. I was angry. I was just divorced. I was very self-destructive. And thank goodness I'm not that person I was back then. You can't have really any bad habits and live here, or you won't last very long. And I was about as disconnected from reality as one can be 12, 13 years ago. And I just replaced the time that I spent really wrecking myself and just being angry and self-destructive and selfish. I replaced that time with reading about ancient history. So if you have a problem with drugs or dependency, just quit and find something that you like to do to replace that time you spent wrecking yourself. That's a little bit of advice and a little bit of an answer to why I read so much, because I need to replace time that I spent just fucking myself up. So just being a little honest with you here, and I have talked about that in a previous video, but I know I got a lot of new subs. So... I am about the most sober person out on the Strip, and I enjoy it that way. There are a lot of... 
excuse me. There are a lot of legal activities you can do out here that put a smile on your face. They are perfectly fun and harmless. But I have never been so proud of my city. The way the people in the casinos took care of people and made sure nothing else was going to happen after the initial incident. They had a plan. They put it to work. And, you know, people might have said, you know, well, it was a little stern. It was a, No, it wasn't a little stern. It wasn't a little much. They were doing what they were trained to do. And the only thing that was on the concern of people after the initial incident, when they realized what the hell had happened, was nobody else in our town is getting hurt tonight. And from security guards to custodial workers, some custodial workers ran around, gathered up people, put them in safe locations, locked the door, and made sure people were not getting hurt. I am hearing so many tales of people really putting their lives at stake to make sure people were safe. And uh, I'm not going to make any more videos about this tragedy, but I just wanted to let you people know that the people of this city are going to do even a better job of making sure people have a fun time when they come here and that they are safe. And sometimes, if somebody's bent on destruction, there's really not much you can do about it. And uh, But I know that they're, they are thinking in this city of how to prevent further tragedies like this if possible. But man... Never been proud, so proud of my city. And I know for the upcoming years, people are going to come to Las Vegas. They're going to enjoy it just as much as they ever had. Entertainers out here, they're not going to leave town. They're just going to make sure that they still put on their amazing performances and entertain people and give people an escape from their lives that they need. Las Vegas is going to go on, people, and it's going to go on better than ever. People love coming here, and they're going to continue to love coming here. And every single worker that works down on the Strip is now dedicated to make sure that happens. People who work down there are just, I mean, they are really destroyed. Totally heartbroken. And what can they do about it? Well, they can make sure you have a great time when you come to our city. It's a beautiful city. There's plenty to do for everybody. So come out here. Don't let the events deter you from coming out here. This can happen anywhere. My city is going to make sure everybody who continues to visit is going to have a great time. And that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Hope you thought this was interesting. We're going to have some pyramid talk when I come back. Have a nice day.